first, I'm joined by John Waite, who has the perfect healthy recipe to kick off the week. Come on, let's kick off the week. What yes, is let's it? kick off the week. And it's a drizzly bank holiday Monday. Yes. I should be tucked up in my, in my covers right now, but I'm yeah. not. Uh -huh. But I know when I get home, I'm going to get in the duvet and I'm going to take some of these from the studio and eat them. It's a caramelised onion and goat's cheese flatbread. And great comfort food. Oh, great comfort food, <laughs> especially on a rainy day. It really is. And uh -huh. it's a really simple bread dough. And you, like you say, you know flatbreads. Yeah. You've done flatbreads plenty yeah. of times. Yeah. This is no different. It's a yeasted flatbread dough. So I've got in the bowl here some strong white bread flour. And that's value, just value ingredient. Don't, mm. use a, don't you want to get the like, expensive one? Yep. Just use value ingredient. Yep. And I'm going to put the salt in there. Now I'm going to give that a quick toss together. Just get the salt into the flour before I add the yeast because you don't want to run the risk of killing the yeast. I love that. The salt. I love that we can <laughs> kill yeast. <laughs> yeast. It's like if you put Poor water in, if you put the water in too hot with yeast, it that kills will it. kill it. Exactly. Won't it? Oh, she knows the stuff. Ooh. She knows the stuff. So in Ooh. with the yeast, and that is the fast action yeast. Don't use dried active. It's rubbish. Fast oh. action or I instant yeast is really good stuff. Oh, okay. So and then I'm just going to bring this into your dough with the water. Right. Tepid water, like you say, not too hot. Yeah. Because that will kill the yeast and you'll be sorry. So in with the water and I'm going to. I can hear the yeast screaming. <laughs> like a little lobster. <laughs> oh, it's too hot. <laughs> no, it's, not, it's fine. You're all right, the yeast is. So I'm going to let that knead and you'd let that knead for about 10 minutes. If you don't have a machine, uh, do it by hand. Yeah, roll it's your really sleeves nice, up. Roll your sleeves up and get dirty. <laughs> but it's a nice thing to do. So I'm going to let that knead away, uh, but I'm not going to let it knead for three minutes because I need to no, catch it. No, she mad. So, and then what you do is you let that rise. So, you know, with, with the yeast dough, once, once you've kneaded it and created that network of strands and the gluten that allows the uh, yeast to breathe, okay. it actually breaks wind. But oh, I'll say no more about that. Yeah. Oh, oh that, I'd love to think <laughs> that way about it. <laughs> Little creatures breaking wind in your bread dough. Enjoy that, won't you? So what I'll do, what you do then is when it's risen, oh. you divide it into six. Can I have a touch? You can have a touch. Oh, Look I at just those love that soft, thing. soft buns. Oh, they lovely. God, that's so, so you divide that into six, and yeah. then what I'm going to do is pop some filling. So while that rises, you make the filling, and I've right. just sweated down an onion for about ten minutes on a medium flame. Well, two onions there. Sweat that down. It's then really you add important to that. you don't rush that. Isn't don't it? rush that. People, that's one of the major problems people do in yeah. the kitchen is rushing the onions. Mm. Let them softly, just it's gently cook. It's a big cook. British mistake, that. It is a big, yeah, it's impatience yeah. is what it is. So in with some balsamic vinegar. Yeah. And then a little bit of uh, dark brown, well, light brown muscovado sugar as well. Yeah. And that helps to create a caramelised process. Could you use just white sugar if you wanted? You could do, if that's all you've got in the cupboard today. But you wouldn't don't, be impressed. Don't nip tip shop in the range for some dark sugar. <laughs> so I've got my little dough ball. And what I'm going to do is just flatten this out into a disc. Uh -huh. So like that. So it, you can see how it's risen and flattened it down. Oh, it's beautiful. Take my caramelised onions and the goat's cheese. This is hard goat's cheese. Right. So it's not the soft stuff because that would just melt into it and you'd, you'd, you'd waste it. So hard so goat's cheese. So could you use feta? Yeah. Or would that melt away too much? You could use feta, paneer cheese. Mm. You could use cheddar. If you've mm -hmm. got cheddar cheese in, a bit of Stilton would be nice as long as it's a, a stronger Stilton. Now you're getting fancy. I'm getting too fancy, getting all posh. <laughs> so I'm going to take some of this filling, and yeah. that was the time I put some chopped fresh thyme in there. Take some of this filling, and I'm going to just shove it in the middle of the flatbread like this. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is just make a little patty with that. So wrap it oh. round. So you just gently fold in oh. those ingredients into the bread. It's like a calzone. It's like a calzone. That was that was really posh as well. <laughs> posh, <laughs> no, posh. it was limited Italian. <laughs> That's posh. <laughs> and then you flatten that out. Give it a quick, just a brief rolling. And I've got a pan here heating up. <laughs> it's getting really hot. You need to make sure your pan is, is quite hot. And yeah, then a bit got... of sunflower Ooh. oil. So this is healthier. This is one of the healthier fats because okay. it's a, a liquid at room temperature. So about a tablespoon of sunflower oil in there. Okay. Make sure this oh, is Oh, no, nice this is interesting. This yeah. is going to be a bit fried, this then. That's going to be delicious. slightly fried, a bit greasy. Oh. But it's so good. So pop that in there. And you need the oil to be ferociously hot. Really, really hot oil. Right. And then you let that sort of bubble up. And you'll see it in a minute. It'll start to rise and go puffy. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip that over and then fry it on the other side. And it only takes about a minute to a minute and a half on each side. And then I'm going to serve this with some hummus. Because these flavours and hummus, match made in heaven. That's so naughty, it's almost a fried <laughs> pizza, I can't believe it. 